This is an Ashto Journal video, Volcano Update, Hawaii. On May 3rd, the Kilauea volcano on the Big Island of Hawaii began erupting, damaging and destroying homes and roads. In a telephone interview with Hawaii DOT Deputy Director Ed Sniffen, the Ashto Journal learned about the extent of the damage and the recovery strategy moving forward. In the area of the, the East Rift Zone, where the eruptions are occurring, in the Puna District, there's three local roads that are closed. Pahoa Kapoho Road, that goes into Leilani Estate, 132, and Highway 137. Highway 137 is, is the road that runs along the beach area. The major route, or the major connector in that area, is Highway 130, the, the state road. Fortunately, that's still open. The biggest thing for us, and the governor, he wants us to stay two steps ahead of the lava. We can't control it. We don't know where it's going to go next. We're just making our best educated guesses. But he wants to ensure that we're providing accessibility for the region two steps ahead of whatever whatever flows may come through. So we're always looking at, of course, maintaining the route that we have, making sure that we protect it as much as possible, and providing alternate route options in the event that route is compromised. I, I don't want to say that this is a, a normal for us, but we're used to. We know that the, the power of the, the volcano is a lot bigger than we got, so we just got to try to work with it as much as possible. All, be, all things being considered, if we know the eruptions are done, know that there's no more flow, the first thing we would do is do a drone flyover to look at any heat signatures um, to make sure that when we send that D10 in there to start ripping, it doesn't come back as a D6 um, because it hits, hits some molten pockets. The difficulty with, with hardened lava is it's a really good insulator. So when you start looking at it from, from up above to look at those thermal sensors, it's very difficult to determine what kind of activity you're, you're seeing below. It's the same thing with people. They see hardened lava and they think they can go up there and start walking around, find a warm spot so they can say that they were on the lava, roast marshmallows and those types of things. Those that get in trouble start walking a little further than they should, then they start seeing the, the rock that, that's around them start glowing because the heat source is still there underneath it. One of the, the complexities of doing work in a national park is we can't bring material in. They're very, very particular about protecting the ecosystem in the park itself. So any roadway materials that we use, we have to generate by uh, crushing the on-site materials. This is an Ashto Journal video, Volcano Update, Hawaii.